There's no one-size-fits-all stroke workup for patients. We often have a patient have an MRI, and if that demonstrates a stroke, we do further vessel imaging with an MR angio of the head and neck. A patient that has multiple prior silent strokes likely has small vessel atherosclerosis and is not a cryptogenic stroke. We also want to know, what are their risk factors? Do they have high blood pressure? Do they have diabetes? Are they a smoker? Have they had prior strokes? Other tests are important to look for other causes of cardiac dysfunction, such as cardiomyopathies. And then we often follow patients for 30 days with a heart monitor to rule out occult atrial fibrillation. If a patient has no atherosclerosis, no other significant heart disease, an isolated stroke on MRI, and a negative 30-day monitor, we consider that patient to have a cryptogenic stroke. By using the ROPE score, we can determine the likelihood that the PFO contributed to that stroke. The ROPE score stands for the risk of paradoxical embolism. And this is a 10-point score that takes into account typical atherosclerotic risk factors like age, diabetes, hypertension, smoking, and also the appearance of the patient's stroke on imaging. By putting those factors together, you can see the PFO attributable fraction, and if it's more than 50%, I consider that a patient that we should consider for closure.